10 Amazing Discoveries That Confused Scientists Some discoveries are so unique that even scientists are confused by them. Let's go through some of the strangest, most mysterious, or just downright scary discoveries that had even scientists puzzled. Number 10. Microbes Are Evolving It's incredible what sort of medical progress humans have made in the past few hundred years. There was a time when there were massive plague outbreaks that would take the lives of hundreds of millions of people, and pandemics would easily wipe out half of a continent's population. But over time, we've invested a large resource into developing antibiotics and other medicines and vaccines in order to be able to fight these viruses. And they have been nothing short of miraculous. However, evolution might just mess up all the progress we've made so far. There have been numerous scientific and medical researchers that have been warning us of our over-reliance on antibiotics and what the consequences of that might be. It's becoming extremely common for humans to develop antibiotic resistance, which means our white blood cells, and actively fighting against the medicines that we're supposed to depend on. Diseases like the flu are evolving so rapidly that last year's vaccine wouldn't even work on this year's variant. Number 9. Tadpoles Bigger Than Your Face Tadpoles have fascinated humans for a long time since we learned about how they work. They're the earliest life stage of an amphibian, which required amphibians to get their own scientific classification. Normally, we'd think of tadpoles as these tiny little things or even creatures if you want to call them that. We wouldn't normally think of tadpoles to be the size of a large fish or even the size of your face. That's what these people in Arizona found. One day when volunteering to remove invasive bullfrogs from Arizona's muds and rivers, a group of people came across a strange fish. But upon further research, they found out it was a massive tadpole. It's believed that this tadpole belonging to a bullfrog, which is the largest of all frog species, is suffering from some sort of strange hormonal imbalance, as its size is even larger than that of a young bullfrog. Number 8. Digital Rectal Massage Can Cure Hiccups there is a rare condition where some people can face chronic hiccups, in which they cannot stop hiccuping no matter what they do. One 60-year-old man developed chronic hiccups after a nasogastric tube was inserted into him. But even after doctors removed the tube, the hiccups didn't go away. However, after doctors came up with the strange idea of giving this man a digital rectal massage, as crazy as it may sound, it actually fixed the man's problems, and he never suffered from chronic hiccups again. This treatment was once again used for chronic hiccups, and it worked again. Doctors are now using this method to treat other cases of chronic hiccups. And as invasive as it may be, it clearly works. Number 7. Deadly Dog Licks We all love dogs, even if we're sometimes allergic to them. Dogs are some of the friendliest creatures around, often more loyal than even other humans. And one of the best ways they show us their affection is by licking us. But for some people, it has been deadly. A man from Wisconsin learned this the hard way when he let his friend's dog lick him too much. A day later, he suffered a major infection all over his body, and it got so bad that the doctors decided to amputate his legs completely as well as part of his arms. He apparently got infected by a bacteria known as Capnocytophagia, which is an active bacteria not only in dogs but pretty much all household pets. While most people aren't at risk of this bacteria entering their bloodstream, if a household pet licks an open wound, it can be quite dangerous. The doctors at the hospital were shocked at how bad the infection was and told locals to be more vigilant. Number 6. Dogs Can Detect the Earth's Magnetic Field But enough about how dogs can be dangerous, as in 99% of cases, dogs are mostly harmless. Aside from their loyalty and love, dogs also have some other amazing features about them, and one of them is that they can actually detect the Earth's magnetic field. In a, let's say, strange study by scientists who are mainly trying to observe a dog's behavioral pattern, they noticed that female dogs always faced exactly either north or south while pooping. Why? It's because dogs, especially female dogs, are much more sensitive to the Earth's magnetic field than practically any other animal and pooping in any other direction can cause them to be uncomfortable. In fact, this may be the reason why dogs are able to detect earthquakes a couple of seconds before we do, because they already sense it coming. Number 5. People with Neanderthal Genes Feel More Pain 
The whole history of how humans evolved to become what they are now is complicated, to put it lightly. Many, if not most humans alive today have Neanderthal genes, and some have more Neanderthal genes than others. Neanderthals were an early human species that went extinct about 4,000 years ago. While there aren't any Neanderthals left alive today, we still carry many of their traits, and scientists now believe that they're the reason why modern-day humans have such a low pain tolerance when compared to other animals. A study in the UK showed that the more Neanderthal genes a person had, the lower their pain tolerance was. They weren't able to determine exactly what in the Neanderthal genes was causing this. Number 4. We Might Be in the Middle of a Mass Extinction While modern-day humans have mostly been spared from mass extinction events, the Earth has witnessed mass extinction events in the past, such as the devastating Cretaceous Paleogene Extinction Event, where an asteroid hit the Earth and wiped out three-quarters of all plant and animal species on Earth, including most notably the dinosaurs. But that was 66 million years ago. And today, we're still at risk of being wiped out, and it may be because of man-made reasons. As the world industrializes at a faster pace than ever before, Global CO2 emissions are also increasing at a rapid pace. We're already seeing so much marine life be killed due to record temperatures every year. And scientists are warning us that if we don't act fast, we might just see another mass extinction event that might even wipe out the humans. Number 3. Things that taste good are bad for you One of the most annoying things about life that even science can't figure out is why foods that taste good are always bad for you. Even studies have shown that foods that humans rate the highest in terms of taste are almost always the ones that are bad for you. The answer to that might be in evolution as well. Our ancestors also gorged on a lot of unhealthy food, but they had such an active lifestyle that it didn't matter. But in the 21st century, even the most active humans aren't nearly as active as they were, and the food we eat is staying with us. So, while we've developed tastes for these unhealthy foods thanks to our ancestors, we aren't able to live the life they used to, causing a spike in heart-related problems today. Number 2. Stories of the Amazon Rainforest The natives of the Amazon Rainforest are some of the most intriguing people on Earth, as we don't know much about their history or culture since they're mostly uncontacted. For the longest time, their history was considered undocumented. But recently, in the part of the rainforest that's in Colombia, 12,000-year-old drawings were discovered in which they detailed their way of life, mostly hunting and even showed a sign of some now-extinct animal species they used to hunt, such as the giant sloth, Ice Age horses, and more. Number 1. Orange Snow Our world is capable of some truly wacky stuff. And while snow isn't really the strangest thing in the world on its own, especially in Eastern Europe, one winter in the Russian city of Sochi, residents noticed something strange about the snowfall. It was orange. Yes, the normally white Christmas turned into an orange Christmas for the residents of the city, and no one could really tell why. When scientists take a look at the snow, they notice that there were large traces of desert sand in it, which seemed off. As it turned out, the sand actually flew to Eastern Europe all the way from the Sahara Desert, as it was picked up from storms along the way. It was the single largest transfer of sand naturally in the history of our planet. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this, and we'll see you in the next one.